In this video, we will outline the method of almost linear stability analysis, which we used to analyze the molecular circuit in the previous video. In the slide deck on the transcription translation system, we analyzed a linear system, one in which the differential equations could be written in matrix format with constant coefficients a, b, c, and d, bridging a column vector of time derivatives with a column vector of coordinates. We showed that this kind of dynamical system could be analyzed by solving for the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the matrix so as to use this crib sheet to determine whether trajectories traced out nodes, saddles, stars, degenerate nodes, spirals, or centers. This kind of analysis involves asking whether eigenvalues are the same or distinct, positive or negative, complex or real. When we analyzed adaptation more recently in the previous video, we did not have a purely linear system. Instead, the dynamical system near the critical point was described using a series expansion that contained higher order terms. As an example on this slide, second order terms, meaning terms containing x squared, xy, and y squared, are indicated. Can we trust the simplified analysis of the linear part of the dynamics, meaning of the matrix with constant coefficients a, b, c, and d, to describe the trajectories belonging to the overall system, which is described by both linear and higher order parts? If the analysis of the linear part of the dynamics near a critical point indicates a source node, sink node, saddle, spiral source, or spiral sink, the qualitative behavior of the linear part is correct for the actual system near the critical point, both with regards to shape and to stability. If the analysis of the linear part indicates stars or degenerate nodes, the stability is trustworthy, but the qualitative shape is called into question. Trajectories moving away from the critical point according to linear analysis correspond to trajectories moving away from the critical point for the actual system. Similarly, trajectories falling in toward the critical point according to linear analysis correspond to trajectories falling in toward the critical point for the actual system. However, in both cases, the shapes of the trajectories should be determined by carefully drawing sample trajectories by hand on a direction field near the critical point. When the analysis of the linear part indicates a center, the qualitative shape now is trustworthy, but the stability is not. Obtaining closed loops in the linear analysis leads us to expect loops in the actual system but carefully drawing sample trajectories by hand might be necessary to determine whether those loops close on themselves, move out from the critical point, or instead sink in toward the critical point. To summarize, nodes, saddles, and spirals obtained from linear analysis locally, qualitatively carry over to the actual system, but stars, degenerate nodes, and centers are sources of concern. When linear analysis indicates a star or degenerate node, the stability automatically carries over to the full dynamics, but the shapes of trajectories should be determined by hand. When linear analysis indicates a center, the shape, meaning loopiness, automatically carries over to the full dynamics, but now the stability may need to be determined by hand. In this slide deck, our purpose was to illustrate the concept of adaptation and to show that the methods of linear stability analysis remain at least partially informative for describing trajectories near critical points in systems that are not exactly linear.